Islamophobic figures and groups in Europe in recent months have repeatedly carried out Quran burnings and similar attempts to desecrate the Muslim holy book, drawing outrage from Muslim countries and the world. Rising Islamophobia in Western countries, Sweden and Denmark in particular, is threatening international peace and security. The Danish government will propose a law which would make it illegal to desecrate any holy book in the country. This comes after a string of public desecrations of the Quran by a handful of Islamophobic figures sparked angry demonstrations in Muslim countries. On Friday, the government will put forward its uh, legislation, uh, and we know for sure that this, 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 this legislation will be law. Uh, in a very quick time because it's a majority government, which is uh, something special in, in Danish politics. So what's happening on Friday is what's going to be the conclusion. Denmark has been viewed as a country that facilitates insult and denigration of the cultures, religions and traditions of other countries. The proposal by the government is to extend Denmark's existing ban on burning foreign flags by also prohibiting improper treatment of objects by significant religious significance to a religious community. Denmark's government has repeatedly distanced itself from the desecrations, but has insisted that freedom of expression is one of the most important values in Danish society. We as Danish Muslims, we are very happy because this will, um, uh, this is a security for us as part of the society. We do not want to be uh, have special rights uh, over other um, uh, of our citizens within the Danish society, but at the same time, we would like to have a law that protects us as a minority minority within the Danish society, but at the same time, we have hoped that this uh, law, this uh, bill, um, this suggestion of a law uh, should, should have been passed uh, weeks ago. I think the change is needed because we live in 2023 and for me, it's still, I'm still so shocked that these things are happening. I came here because I'm angry, <laughs> because it's, it can't be true that a very civilized country like Denmark allows burning of the Quran or any other religious uh, books. I mean, this is my country now, I've lived here for 25 years, and I love living here, and this is my home, and I really want Denmark to be better than this in um, like uh, stopping all these deeds.